this is Roger Hansen. I'm coming to you from uh, Toots Tips Tricks Reviews Unboxed. I went and switched over from Windows 7 to Linux and right now is probably <clears throat> the first uh, episode where I'm going to be talking about a little bit on the Windows or the Linux part of it and the first thing I want to get into is installing um, Linux. I already have uh, Lubuntu installed on this computer so what I can do on this computer is show you how to uh, how easy it is to burn an ISO uh, of Lubuntu onto a CD which is right here and um, make it to where you can uh, transfer that over to any other computer that you want. Now the thing about Linux that I do like is the fact that Linux is absolutely free you can go on you can download Linux to your uh, system and it won't cost you a penny it does wipe out your windows they say that you can do the compatibility thing but the whole issue is if you don't back your computer up which is is suggested then you're going to lose everything on your computer um, so back your computer up before you do this and then go through the process now on this one I'm going to use a an installer that is already built into Linux but when I first started I didn't have anything that was available that was Linux so I had to go outside of Linux to do it and what I ended up doing was I went and got an installer called Rufus. That's R-U-F-U-S. And I installed um, Lubuntu through my USB drive with an installer called Rufus. And that's how I did it the first time. Uh, so <clears throat> the first time around, it's probably best to get, you know, Rufus and do it that way. I looked around and it seemed like it was the best choice. It's an open source uh, installer and the guy I read up on his uh, uh, bio about himself and he seems like an alright guy. He said why would I turn around and sell my installer for 99 cents when I can turn around and give it away for free. And, no sell it for 99 cents and only sell it to maybe thousands of people when I I can turn around and give it away for free to millions of people and that makes sense to me so that's why I ended up going with him um, after I did that I uh, got in here and then I was given the option to do this um, later on I'll show you what the Rufus looks like because I'm going to take this uh, CD that I, I burn and I'm going to change my other computer over from Mint to uh, Lubuntu and I'll do reviews on both Lubuntu and uh, Mint and give you my take of the two of them, the differences between them and what I liked and didn't like about them but let me get on with it um, I when I got Lubuntu I ended up having to go through and setting all this up myself um, they give you the the backgrounds and the themes and everything but you have to manually set up your computer the way you want it and so just because I have this kind of theme doesn't mean that's the way you're Linux system is going to look. I wanted to say that because I got confused about it when I was looking through the YouTube videos and I seen people's backgrounds and how different it looks. Now, on here, when I went in and I uh, 
got in here, I found uh, a system a system inside of uh, Lubuntu called uh, GNOME, which I end up calling it GNOME, but it's G-N-O-M-E, which is GNOME. And uh, GNOME has a, a good software manager, which I checked out, man, and I like this one better because it's more organized, it, it seems. The only issue that I do have with it is whenever I try to go into the separate uh, categories, they don't seem to want to react as fast as what they uh, are supposed to. But I, uh, in here, I have uh, options to burn CDs for movie makers and extensions everything that I need is in here and I basically like I said before had to build it from scratch and on the things that I wanted so that's the first thing that I wanted to mention that seemed very important um, you also want to get updates on your drivers and, and things of that nature and work on your internet connection and always have your internet on when you install any Linux system because if you don't it will cause problems. I didn't do that on this the first time and I ended up paying for it. But this is the setup and you go through here and you look for it. Um, with that I ended up coming up here in my uh, applicant things and they have uh, image, uh, graphics is a category in here and I believe that's where no they have uh, all applications accessories chrome maps games graphics internet office sound and video administration preferences and places now I am looking for my burner which I used to burn my CDs so let me look through here real quick and I'll find it there we go now we have called the XF burn and this is a pretty good set setup and like I said before I'm gonna repeat it I make these videos for people who don't have great uh, computers and they wanna just find a way to make videos Now, right here, it will put uh, WD Elements 1042 into uh, use on it, or I can, which is my external hard drive, or I could just go ahead and put the system on a CD, which I'm going to have to do, and that's fine right there, because I can show you and uh, a good thing about this. See, I've got uh, down here at the bottom, I have uh, workspaces, and in this one, I've got my I've got uh, my uh, Hangouts uh, running. This is just regular Hangouts without the video. And then right here, I've got uh, my uh, make a startup disk set up there, so I can go up to the fourth workspace. And I can just come in here, and I can go to what was it? Sound and video, and I can use Xburn. I went and uh, checked out 
some sites that claim to have free uh, uh, programs that will help restore your Windows. And I went and downloaded or downloaded and burned a disk on there, and it was just a gimmick so that you could try out their demo and then pay money to them for um, for for the disk to do the job that it, it was intended to do. Now they got they've got good prices on those, but my deal is if you're going to to tell people that you can fix something with this kind of a disc, you should tell them that you're going to have to pay for it. You know, I watch a guy on YouTube who builds his own computers, and he he basically said you know this is what he uses but he never mentions the fact that he pays money for it so that kind of struck me wrong okay startup disk uh, creator put the disk in my uh, programs I'll put it in my programs file and uh, I'll create a new folder and I'll call it startup disk ISO and then Ubuntu Good to me.